ای به نمی چکیم این I'm really surprised that you called me. I didn't think you were in me. Just shut up and kiss me. I'm Sloane, and I'm part of an ancient coven of dark witches known as the Bloodborne. I have lived many lives, with one mission, to reunite with my soulmate. The last time I died, I broke the rules. And now this is my last life. Yeah, this never works. You're still the first thing I think about every morning. I wonder if you're thinking about me too. We used to be so in sync like that. Ugh, you're the only one who makes me feel anything. Until I can find you, I'm just filling the void with empty hookups and self-medication. Loneliness is a powerful thing. Let's face it, my life is an utter mess without you in it. You're the only one who challenges me, who brings meaning to my life. I refuse to go through another lifetime without you, especially this one. I know you need me, and I can't stand that they have you imprisoned in your own mind. I probably wouldn't know who I am even if I told you. I'm trying everything I know to reach out to you, but I'm only one person. We're so much stronger together. They must have you cloaked under some powerful magic, even for me. So, I resorted to more traditional methods. Coming, Gray! For a second, I thought nobody was home. <laughs> right. Let's see, um, gluten-free peppers and olives pizza. Since when are you in a hipster diet? <laughs> Since I realized working out's harder to do from your apartment. <sighs> Wanna play some Call of Duty? You have time to hang out? <laughs> no, but the extra large meat lovers with double stuffed crust and the side chicken wings can wait. <laughs> well. Zoe's not here. She's got her sword fighting class this afternoon, so she won't be home until late. She orders takeout all the time, so she's seen a lot of this guy. Goofy kind of kid. A couple times a week she's visited by this woman, one Dr. Kristen Stanwick, specialized in post-traumatic stress disorder. Yelena. Who? Anyone else? Well, you know, like I said, she lives with her sister there. Uh, I'm guessing somebody's adopted. The guy with the sister is most likely her boyfriend. Now, the sister is a real uh, party animal. Good thing, too. Otherwise, I don't think this Taylor chick would be seeing much of anybody. Is that it? Well, uh, like I said, there's, uh, she's taken a couple creative writing classes at Finley U. I'm guessing she doesn't get laid all that often. All kind of teenage angst in there. Now, I have the address, but we have the matter of payments. So, we settle up, and the secret location of one Miss Taylor Welton is all yours. Did you hear me? I heard you. But it's not going to work like that. Really? Unless, uh... Unless there's something else I could do for you. Really? Because I was wondering, how can an old slob like you keep up with this? Surely you have a heart attack first. Before you go, read the address now. Are we doing this? Yes. Wait, Taylor, 
Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Maybe you're rushing into this. I thought you said you were sure. Taylor! Come on! <laughs> Professor Kirkwood gave me a C minus on my term paper. Sorry? Yeah. Well, he can swallow my sword. Hi, Gray. Um, I just had to use the bathroom. I gotta go. Yeah, I'm sure you have other deliveries to make. Please tell me you're not hooking up with the pizza delivery guy. Taylor. Ew. Not anymore, thanks. Just, ew. I've practiced over and over exactly what I'd say if I ever saw you again. Do you feel like you've been here before? You're not crazy. It's true. Each time we come back, we find ourselves caught in the middle of the ongoing battle between the Alina and the Bloodborne. No matter how dangerous it's been, we have never chosen a side. I'm going to find you and remind you who you really are one last time. This season on Last Life. I'm so sorry. Are you all right? What if they're not my altars, but our past life memories? It's a nasty little cocktail she's sipping. Screwing with somebody's memories is cruel. You haven't seen cruel. Tell him she's mine, and I'm gonna handle it my way. Someone else is trying to get into Taylor's head. <laughs> Dude, haven't you read the prophecy? She's all end of days, apocalyptic scary. She's gotta be spelled or something. You remind me of someone. Rick, my ex-boyfriend. I called Dr. Stanwyck. Why would you do that? Taylor, you need help. It's working, I just need more time. Your time is up, my dear. I don't need a plan. I've got tequila. <laughs>